<laughs> well, don't tell the competitors, but I enjoyed it. <laughs> oh, I enjoyed it too. It's fine. Competitors, don't listen to the last part, okay? Scratch, delete, all that. I do want to give a thank you, by the way, to people who have subscribed during this. Donkey Clunk and Pat from IT. Pat from IT, thank you so much. I always appreciate an IT person coming and giving me support. Okay, Jeff. Uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and I'm... reveal the next GM, because who could it be? It's me! So I think I'm going to go and go into witness protection so Fun. the competitors don't find me. But I'll uh, catch up with you later. Oh, boy. Okay, Jeff, go be safe. <laughs> be protected. Because this game that I'm choosing... By the way, I tend to go with games that tend to be a little bit classic when it comes to Cusa Grande. This is one that we've never had, but I feel like it always should have been on Cusa Grande. It is The Adventures of Tom Sawyer for NES. And that's right, earlier I gave a spoiler saying that we had the Loch Ness Monster in this, and trust me, we do. <laughs> oh, people are a little bit stressed with this. Oh, that's fine. This is an absolute classic, and I am thrilled to be having this game, okay? And for all you haters, all you haters, I know, I'm, I'm kind of awful. The thing is, this game, I actually really enjoy it, but the difficulty is notoriously high. Uh, in fact, you're going to see players probably struggle with the first level for a good five to ten minutes, not because uh, it, I don't know, not, not because it takes that long, just because uh, the level of execution is pretty high up there in order to get through it. So I'm currently working on getting everybody captured, making sure that the streams are set. If there is any of the Game Masters that wants to come hop into chat as well, you are more than welcome to do so. I know that we had a lot of Game Masters who were sort of disappearing for tonight. Uh, dude, like Kowal, who's practicing the cello, who does that? Ugh cellos okay am i right am i right am i right uh oh i hear who is that royal blue wizard hello i'm getting a ton of echo hello wizard hello wizard I'm going to deafen myself right now so we don't hear any of that. Royal Blue Wizard, uh, I'm going to let you figure things out. You know what? No, I'm... Uh, I don't know. Okay. I'm muting right now. You're messing with Mike B right there. Go ahead and disconnect until you're ready, and then you can reconnect. I'll go ahead and just chill for a little bit. I want to talk to myself. I always talk to myself. Every day, every moment of my life is another conversation. The Adventures of Tom Sawyer is, as a matter of fact, the next game. I hope that you are all excited for this because, I don't know, Tom Sawyer, here's the deal. I had a whole class about Mark Twain in college. I love Mark Twain. I was actually thinking about writing a thesis on him for a while. He's just fantastic, and you know, he is the pure reason why we have this video game, The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. Wouldn't have existed without Mark Twain. I promise. I guess I promise. Tom and Huck looked excited. Oh, they're so thrilled! Look at them! They're just going on the river. Floating around, beep boop, beep boopin'. I'm waiting, by the way, just for Tetsuya to go live. Hello? Hello, you're there! Yes, I'm here, as yes. not murdering everyone. Oh, good. Sorry. Sorry about that, the mic was, uh, not playing nice. Oh, those stupid mics. 
Math Man, it could be Becky Thatcher. Thank you, Red, Ar Red Aramercer. I see someone else knows their old Americana. Okay, it looks like all four of our players are alive. Yeah, do you know much about Mark Twain? Some. Okay, did you know... Aren't you the English teacher? You would know more than me. I actually know quite a bit about Mark Twain. I wrote multiple papers about him. Uh, and I love Mark Twain. I'd say that if there is a favorite author that I have, it would be Mark Twain. He's just fantastic, okay? Uh, in fact, I think some of his best books are his travelogues, which honestly, you know, is kind of surprising to a lot of people, but he did a lot of traveling uh, and a lot of writing for his travels, and it's hilarious, okay? Especially when he talks about going to Europe and hating all of... Uh, the Renaissance art. He's like, it's all the same and it's all boring and I hate it. Man after your own heart, Brasentia. Oh, right after just, my own heart. Someone who yeah. just cannot stand the classics. Well, one other thing about him as well is that he tended to look at people's quirks more so than actually everything that was happening around on the journey. So he did a lot of people writing and uh, it was... Yeah, it's hilarious. Okay, it looks like everybody is currently streaming. I'm waiting for audio. There we go. Got some on Meek inside. If you are, by the way, one of the players, go ahead and mute slash pause the stream. We do not want you getting any spoilers here. Okay, also, I want to give a thank you to... Uh, Oh, Wizard, you're here with me. Thank you for gifting that sub to Glitch Witch. <laughs> yep, th uh, sure. Anytime. <laughs> oh, boy. I hope that this audio is loud enough for everybody. Okay, I've got three out of four of the players. What should we have them spam? Because I don't think anybody has river emotes. What's that? I was going to say anything related to rafts or rivers, but... Barrels too, I guess. Uh, yeah. Tim Sawyer. Oh yeah, everybody in chat, go ahead and spam Tim. That'll be fun. Spin, spam fish if you do not have subs. Uh, go ahead and spam anything related to a river. That's cool. Or Mississippi. That includes ugly people. <laughs> wow. I'm sorry, everybody from Mississippi. <laughs> I don't mean to offend everybody right away, but let's go ahead and get started. As soon as I see movement, I start our timer, and there we go. It lo looks like Meekins is having a bit of a hard time with the controller. That's okay. You are, uh, making me reconsider if I want to be associated with you, bro. Oh my gosh. What, you like Mississippi? No, not especially, but I'm not going to go and call everyone in Mississippi ugly. I'm joke. It's... I don't know. Does anybody there li live in Mississippi? Can you verify? I don't know. If you ever read The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn... There are a lot of I ugly did. souls there. Oh, okay. I will not argue with that. That's okay. very true. But there are also some good people. I don't I don't know. I, I actually want... I don't know what I would go and visit down in Mississippi. Maybe if there are some locations that are in uh, Huckleberry Finn, I would love to go see those. You, you've lived in Jackson, Missouri? Okay, Cookie. Am I right or wrong? Oh, Jim Sterling lives in Mississippi. Good guy. I'm, I don't think I'm wrong on the ugly portion, but... <laughs> <laughs> we are oh. so getting blacklisted from yeah, Jim Sterling. Yeah, just dream. wait until we get banned. <laughs> I'm sorry, I really like Jim Sterling. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
By the way, uh, everybody, this level is going to be fairly straightforward. They just gotta make progress and hopefully uh, get to the boss here. What are they do? What's their goal? I don't know. Just get to the boss and kill it. Wow. You know what? I'm awesome. gonna boost the audio a little bit because I really like this music and everybody has to hear it a lot. So I want to be able to hear it loud and clear instead of just having it faint in the background. There, that should do. Hey, we have an octopus, everybody. That is a big octopus. Yeah, this happened in the stories as well. This is canon. There we go, Tetsuya already on to stage two. Nice! This is before or after they played dead. Oh, I, I think during playing dead. Oh, and Tetsuya's game over, but luckily there continues. I believe there are infinite continues. It shouldn't be too worrying. Uh... You know, I'm betting he fakes his own death when he kills the octopus. That's what happens. Uh, death by octopus. Terrifying thing. Ah, uh, poor Aunt Polly. Nobody cares about Aunt Polly. Wow, really? I don't think anybody cares about Aunt Polly. I figured no one cared about Sid, but people still cared about Aunt Polly. Oh wait, I'm gonna go ahead and scratch everything. I dated somebody from Missouri once, so... You know... There there are decently attractive and okay people in Missouri. I'll go ahead and say that. There, there we go. I'm, uh, Bill way or over Mississippi, here. sorry, Mississippi. Mississippi is definitely distinct from Missouri. So, have you played this game at all, Royal Blue Wizard? Uh, no, I have not. Seen it played uh, on Game Center CX. Okay. Uh, have not actually played it myself. Yeah, this is a game that, uh, even though it acts pretty straightforward, the physics are pretty okay. It's not too slippery. I actually feel like the platforming is okay. Everything kills you in one hit. You have no health bar. You're just dead if you take damage. So Meekins is on to the octopus boss, and you're going to see, like, I, I don't feel like this boss is really too difficult. It's fairly straightforward, hit the eyes, don't let the little octopi hit you. And there we go, Meekins on to the rafting section here. And so what every platforming game needs, a little bit of shmup action. I just love it. Oh, by the way, you can jump off your raft. However, depending on the direction that you were heading when you jump, your raft continues in that direction, and you have to navigate yourself so that you land back on it. I believe that is how Tetsuya uh, came over the first time. Yeah. They proceeded to uh, hop off the raft and this not section hop back for on Meekins, it. for example. Taking a jump, very nice. Let's see about the second jump. There we go. If you are not moving, by the way, this section is extremely precise for when you need to jump and land. Okay, Meekin's death! What are those things? Uh, they're like the fireball things in Mario, you know, the spinning fireball log ropes, whatever they are. I don't know. Log ropes. Mississippi has those too? Mississippi was really ahead of their time in the 1800s. But then again, I guess attacking people with flaming objects really was something that we've done all of our history as human beings. It's kind of our jam, you know, fire. Fair enough. Oh, what's his name? The... the... Hephaestus? What? Um, no, not Hephaestus. Uh... Like, oh, the guy who went and stole 
fire from the deities, you know? He was cool, Prometheus. but... Yeah, Prometheus. I was thinking of the Sisyphus, but no. That's what Tom Sawyer is, okay? Very different person. Oh! And Meekins just barely misses the raft during the jumping section. Definitely Meanwhile, difficult and a big setback. Julan Ninja has uh, finished off the octopus. Nice! And he has finished off the gator and or crocodile. I'm not sure which it was supposed to be. Eh, a little bit of both. Gator dial? The gator dial! Tetsuya taking a lot of deaths. That's not surprising. This game is brutal and it's very easy to die. Honestly, I did about how Chaos is doing right now when I was trying this out. Simply put, there are a lot of platformer players out there who are much better than I am. And it, it took me a while. I can definitely relate to that feeling. <laughs> Tetsuya slides off the platform. That is death. Now, Tetsuya is a pro platformer. I would not blame Tetsuya for a death like that. I'm guessing that there is something odd about the physics that Tetsuya is just not used to at this point. I'm I don't recall sure it being it. too slippery, but I do feel like it's a little bit hard to know exactly where you are standing uh, compared to the platform. Okay, Chaos has a pretty good chance of actually making it to the boss this time. Come on, Chaos. Oh, come on, Meekins. I'm really tired of this music. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Not the biggest fan. So what do the little pickups do? I am actually going to be opening something up. Uh, the, the manual, because I gave them out to them. Uh, just so that we have all of the information here. Okay, so the slingshot sign, it gives you uh, essentially a slingshot. Your projectiles no longer arc and instead travel straight forward, but that eventually runs out. The T sign, apparently if you get 20, you get an extra life. The heart sign turns you invis invincible. So apparently the skull signs that you see around will take away 10 of your T signs. So it doesn't actually hurt you, it just uh, takes away what you are earning in order to get an extra life. My gosh, Tetsuya, this is nuts. Doing a great job here. Ooh! Let's see... It looks like Meekins, by the way, grabbing invincibility. In an auto-scroller, you can pretty much never go wrong there. Oh, Tetsuya! Oh, that's one of the odd mechanics. If you are not moving and you jump straight up, uh, it's difficult to actually course correct. It's difficult to move left or right at that point. You're just gonna go very slowly in one of those directions if you try to course correct. I just continue to be more impressed that Tetsuya got through it so quickly. Well, Tetsuya... I can't remember what place he took in the last tournament, but he did extremely well. Uh, honestly, he got pretty close to the end of Kusa Grande. Tetsuya's always been a strong tr player, so, like, He's doing better than I expected, but still, uh, I expected a lot from him. Tetsuya riding the bird! Ah, oh, what a nice bird! I like it. Unfortunately, the snake does Tetsuya in. Ah. Yeah, I know that the players just want to finish this auto-scroller as quickly as possible. Every death spent here, you're feeling like somebody is passing you. That stress is definitely not helpful. Oh, no, not at all. It's... Oh, Meekins! Because your raft was stopped! Jumping did nothing! Jumping... It's not gonna move under you. You can't jump and move your raft. 
Hey, uh, Mikan's grabbing another invincibility as well as a slingshot. Nice. One more T and Tetsuya gets an extra life, and there we go. The extra life has been gotten. Chaos onto the octopus. Look at this cute guy, though. I love him. Loves Here. enough to go and throw rocks at his eyes. Well, I mean, I don't... I don't know. I've eaten octopus, though. Have you eaten octopus, wizard? Yes, I have. It was okay, which probably shocked me the most. I mean, it's like, this, this isn't the best, but it's not bad. It's be like, it's just kind of chewy. Yeah, very chewy. Especially when I had it. Off the raft. Yeah, that's not too big of a surprise. You know, everybody has died in stage two, which is where Julo, Chaos, and Meekins are. Uh, Tetsuya on stage three. You know, I'm I'm not sure if we get to see any Lincolns in this game. Probably not. Okay. So, here are some hints, by the way. The abandoned ship had... Wait, what? They named the barrels? They're called Trigoro. What's a Trigoro? Oh. Does anybody have any idea? But, like, and the birds are named Seagull. The pirates are named Pirates. The rats are named Rarat. The big fat rat is named Pamu. And the little octopi are Takan. And then the giant one is Naraklus. The ultimate enemy of this scene is the giant octopus, Naraklus. Oh, they even spell it direct differently in the description. That's helpful. He sends his little helpers to attack Tom. Hint, his weakness is his eyes. It straight up tells you how to kill him. Thank you. Good man. hint. Very good hint. Oh, yeah. Barrels. Okay, down the river. I'm gonna go ahead and share the manual with chat, by the way, because I think everybody needs to see this beauty. There we go. So, Tetsuya is still way ahead of everybody else, but not a huge deal. They can catch up. So, the flying fish in the river is named Tompu. And then, apparently, there are penguins, and those are named Karu. I remember all the penguins in uh, Tom Sawyer, by the way. You know, very, very important characters. Very often overlooked. There's also Igloo, which are the ferocious eagles, and then Gulugu, the whirlpools. Dobo are the green frogs. Ricky is the boy who has a grudge against Tom. Is there a Ricky in the story? I don't remember. I don't remember any Ricky in uh, Twain's book. At Maybe all. it's like Lucy's husband. Hey, Ricky! Ay, 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 Tom! Why, why do you have to go down the river? Yeah, okay. Uh, Gulo, uh, that's how he talked. He, he asked a lot of questions. That was the worst accent ever. Okay, I was trying to add just a tiny bit without being offensive, but I guess I lost. Royal Blue Wizard, you can slap me uh, on the hand later on. Uh, I'll just be here. Okay. I'm uh, enjoying Hax Trallion going, oh no. Yeah, uh, Neil was... Sorry. See you, bro. I don't know. There's also Gologiri, who is the alligator. That's a cute name for him. Uh, Adam82 Indiana. Uh, no. First of all, uh, Tom tricks a whole bunch of people into whitewashing the fence. And, uh, secondly, um, no, there's still no Ricky, Ricky in any of that sequence. Oh, yeah. Okay, Julo is fighting the giant alligator. You know, you want to watch out for the alligators when you are rafting down the Mississippi River. They're going to get you. They'll catch you, all right. 
Julo is definitely making some progress though. This is great to see, and I think Meekins is probably gonna get close to the boss soon. This music is so dumb though. I hate it. It's so boring. <laughs> the alligator looks pretty bad when he opens his mouth, not gonna lie. Ah. Okay, I'm taking a look. What's the third boss? The ultimate enemy of this scene is the giant monkey Sarudan. He is created from all the punk monkeys that weren't killed. He spits rocks and attacks. His weakness is in his face. <laughs> That's what my mother told me when I was young. <laughs> punk monkeys? Your punk weakness monkey. is in your face. Start. I don't know. Just just have a good looking face, okay? Because then the monkey then you don't become a giant monkey. That's all. If you're but, ugly, you might be a monkey already. But they got turned into a gator. Yeah. Well, no, 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 that one was a monkey. It was multiple okay. monkeys turned into an even bigger monkey. It's the stage three boss, sorry if there was ah. confusion there. Julo ah. has murdered the crocodile, very nice. Oh. I believe that would be a uh, position change. Julo yes. is now in second. I would agree there. Yeah, as far as I can tell, there is not... A character named Ricky. Except in the band Tom Sawyer. But I'm not even gonna get there. Hey, Chaos is to the alligator boss, and Meekins has not made it there yet. Wow. Oh, there's the giant monkey. That looks more like a gorilla to me. Oh, nope, now it's a whole bunch of little monkeys running away. Ah, cute. Tetsuya on to stage four, into. The mansion! I think this is a mansion. Let's see what the manual says about it. In the haunted house. Okay. Watch out for the witch! She tr she throws red balls of fire to try to get Tom. Oh no. Apparently the <laughs> evil demon is here. Okay. So here is the story of the game, just so everybody knows. In a one-room schoolhouse on the banks of the Mississippi River, a boy is daydreaming in class. This little adventure is Tom Sawyer, the star of the game. Tom's weekend exploits with his friend Huckleberry are world famous. Even today, as he naps, he's dreaming of a super adventure down the Mississippi River on his log raft. As he sleeps, he begins the adventure by running through an abandoned pirate ship. After defeating the pirates and an octopus monster, Tom reaches the river. Every step of his journey is filled with danger. Evil ultimate enemies and their helpers try to prevent Tom from reaching his goal, saving Becky Thatcher. Can Tom defeat the greatest enemy, Injun Joe, and save Becky? Their fate is in your hands. Yeah, this is this was the 80s. It doesn't yeah. resemble any of the stories. And it's all a dream so that you can have this adventure. Oh dear. Yeah, like, they could have actually followed some of the stories, but they're like, nah, we'll just have him fall asleep in class because that's what dumb children do. It was such an overused trope, even in the 80s, I hate it. It was a dream so, all along. So who dreamed better, Davy or Tom? I'm gonna give Davy the win here. Davy at least, like, had a little creativity. Meekins, I really want you to beat this level. I want to hear different music. I'm so sick of this river music, okay? <laughs> Wait, so there was a haunted house in Tom Sawyer? I don't remember that, but I can there believe was, yes. that. Especially with the swords and shields. You know? All those skeletons. Switch. 
Yes, Claire, this game does indeed. Nobody important, I think it's somewhere between your head exploding and... Uh... I don't remember anything else about Weird Dreams. Ah, there we go, boss music! Which isn't a giant improvement, but it's something. No, why? Oh, uh, Meekins is having such a hard time with the raft. Luckily, you start right back at the boss. Not a huge problem. Oh, that's good. Please don't die. Please don't die, Meekins. Okay, it, it seems like the whirlpools don't actually hurt you. They just push you around. So, my question is, can this boss even kill you? Uh, maybe if you face ram it. Okay, don't run into the alligator's face. I think that's a good life lesson for everybody. Meekins, we're all cheering for you. One, so that you can start getting a comeback, and two, so we can hear different music. Please kill the alligator. If I didn't know better, I would suspect that there, are allegation, there would be allegations of bias about wow. the commentators. Only for my ears, okay? That's all I... That's my bias. Fair enough. Everybody, I want you to know that chat is deceiving. You do not have to eat these to like me. But it, That was an amazing uh, uh, landing on the raft on Meekins' uh, screen. Oh, I missed it, but good job, Meekins. Yes, new music! I wouldn't say this is an improvement, though. Okay, Tetsuya is killing the evil witch. Ah, the witch is dead. She wasn't even that evil. Okay. The music gets better as time goes on. I kind of like it. Oh, the moth killed Meekins. It's actually a moth. Just so you know, RBW. I will take your word for it. Uh, we, we all know uh, how good your zoology is. I know so. all about animals! There are like 50 of them. They're 50, all yeah. so different. How many of them are jerks? Quite a few of them. You know, mostly the birds. The birds are jerks. Uh, I would say... I don't know. I don't know. I can't think of animals right now. Right, Blue Wizard. It's, it's my fate. I've got no brain cells functioning at this point. I mean, it is fairly late. Also, I had an anxiety pill earlier that... Kinda makes me a little bit sleepy, so don't be too surprised that I'm extra dumb today. Well, I mean, as long as you're not suffering from anxiety, it's a net win. Oh, yeah. Because, because anxiety is a uh, very difficult uh, condition to cope with and manage, so good on you. I think it's because we went to Shopco yesterday. <laughs> this sounds so stupid, but I actually think it's true. <laughs> Shopco! It's all your fault. Oh! We just saw some transformation on Julo's side. Like six monkeys became giant monkey. Made of uh, grape jelly, apparently. Delicious monkey. I like it. Oh, Chaos is onto the boss as well. Both Julo and Chaos have made it to uh, Grumpy Monkey. Or grape jelly monkey, whatever you want to call it. Unfortunately, Chaos taking a death there. Yeah, the thing is, one-hit kills are pretty brutal in this game, and it looks like Chaos got sent back at least a decent amount, so that there's gonna be a lot of work to make progress. Oh! I forgot! It's very easy to get stuck in objects in this game! Well, that explains why it qualifies for Kusa. Oh, yeah, this game... Like, here's the deal. It looks kind of okay, and it seems like it's kind of okay, but 
then the more you get into it, the worse the controls feel, the, I don't know, everything just becomes brutal, especially with enemies. It's a very difficult game. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and drop a hot comment here to see how much controversy I can s create. Red grapes are the superior grape, and green grapes slash white grapes are dumb. <laughs> this is that is what I <laughs> see. That is what I think of your claim. What? What do you think of my claim? I didn't even see. I, it. I disconnect from the call. Oh, you disconnected? <laughs> well, only dumb people disconnect from phone calls and great, like white grape lovers. Oh no, people are unsubbing. No, so sad. Well, you know what? You only hate me because I speak the truth. No, that's not why I hate you. <laughs> oh, there are other reasons. Oh, Grasshopper, no! Chaos! You know, I'll eat white grapes, they're fine. It's just, they're always disappointing. Hey, Tetsuya is fighting this demon. An idiot with no the taste. Plato why demon. Is, why is Champagne a white wine? I learned how to pronounce words from Zap Brannigan. Let me just say that the only way that they could make that taste any good at all was putting some sparkly juice in it. Okay, if it weren't for the sparkles, it would taste terrible. I'll take your word for that, too. Hey, it looks like Tetsuya gets to move on to the clouds! Yeah, just what you want in a Huckleberry Finn slash Tom Sawyer video game. By the way, this game is multiplayer. I believe that if you are second player, you pl you don't play synced up with the other player, but... You take turns? I think so. I don't think uh, this game can handle two players simultaneously. No, I mean, how would they handle dying? Because you can't... the respawn requires them to reload the entire stage. Those birds are so rude on Tetsuya's screen! And Julo has finished off the grape. Nice! Julo is definitely in second right now. Meekins is starting to get to the grape monkey, but unfortunately is having a bit of a hard time here. I wonder why, because Meekins has historically been a super strong competitor right along with Tetsuya, I'd say. But for some reason, this match has been pretty darn difficult. Actually, Mikin's box really, uh, tends to run away with it. I guess Tom Sawyer, uh, is just not to Mikin's liking. Do you want to fu- You know what? I'm not going to talk about the boss of Cloud Stage until later. I, I want everybody to uh, sort of post their reactions when they see it, because it's going to be great. Hey, Mikin's is back to the grape monkey here. Oh, and that is a death. Yeah, the competition is definitely strong this year. We have some fantastic players, and every year there are players who join who I never knew about, but who do really well with blind matches. I'm not one of those. I do terrible when it comes to blind matches. I apparently only do well in blind matches if my entire setup isn't working, so that you get, uh shaky phone footage of me beating a final boss. I think that's the only uh, time I do well in a blind run. And anyone who remembers that, uh, congrats. I'm still embarrassed about it. Shaky phone footage of beating a boss? I love it! That's all I need. Oh my gosh. This rock is really inconvenient to throw, let me just say. Meekin's struggling to make progress, because the rocks go over enemies. You can't hit them unless they're at the exact right distance from you. Hey, Chaos beat the monkey and moving on to the haunted house. Tetsuya is in the lead, Julo second, Chaos third, Meekin's currently in fourth. Please kill 
Grape Jelly Monkey. I want to hear the next stage's music. And I'd love to see comebacks. Comebacks are good. I love how most players don't even avoid the skull drops. Like, yeah, it takes away 10 of your T's that can eventually lead to a 1-up. Who cares? Oh my gosh. We're only half an hour into this wizard. I don't I don't know how you managed to uh get me roped into this. this I don't know uh, either. This really tells me everything I need to know about ever volunteering. Yeah, volunteering for anything is a mistake. <laughs> oh my gosh, Tetsuya just has to dodge the water drops. Oh, there's a witch. Okay. Just gotta get the witch into the right cycle, and then you can kill her really quickly. Like that? Yep. The witch is dead! Dean Dong. Witch witch. All the witches. Oh, it's kinda okay. sad. We have a worldwide shortage of witches now because of Tom Sawyer. What a jerk. I'm sorry, Glitch Witch! I just have to hate him! I'm obliged! They have killed me in so many video games, okay? Witches aplenty. Okay, Julo is on to uh, this demonic boss of sorts. He doesn't really do much, though, just kind of stands there. Then shoots an orb at his staff and creates a bat! Still, that's not for doing very much. Oh, no, Julo! Well, when one hit kills you, he doesn't really need to do much. It's like his night gig, you know? He was like, might as well just kill children, namely Huckleberry, or er, Tom Sawyer here. I'll let my little demon do it this time. Just gonna chill. Take it calm. Okay, Meekins, I believe, is... Not too far away from the grape jelly monkey. Start to get a little close. Getting but, one up there. I like that gnome. What a good gnome. Is, his, is the gnome's name David? Is it David the gnome? Could be. I think I just really dated myself with that reference. <laughs> I can't say it. I can't say it. Uh, Meekins is really struggling here. Tetsuya just got eaten by a dragon? No, don't get eaten by dragons! Ugh. <laughs> what happened? Chad is, uh, also feeling dated. Oh no, there's a show called David the Gnome. What's it called? Or what happens in it? Um, it's a, uh, wholesome story about a gnome named David and his wife, and, uh, they have various adventures and things, and, um, the, uh, finale changes things up by actually having him die. What? <laughs> oh, I love it. Meekins finally beats the ape. Go, Meekins! You know, this is slightly better music. I'll take it. Like, the game is kind of rewarding progress by not scarring you as much. I mean, yeah, the enemies aren't brutal, like Julo Ninja just got swooped. <laughs> okay, Chaos is fighting the demon as well. Right, at the bat. Sit, look out for the bat. Now, bats are friends. 
Wait, no, they're evil in video games. But outside of video games, bats are friends. I like that Chaos is using mouse strats, that always helps. Just leaving the mouse on top of the screen. <laughs> yeah, I like bats. They're so cute. I want a bat to be my friend. Can you go find me a friend, wizard? Uh, I'll ask my, um, friend and classmate who is a, uh, bat biologist. Ooh, wait, really? She, yeah, she was even on uh, Bill Nye Saves the World talking about bats. Oh, seriously? Yes. That's so awesome. I don't think I saw that episode yet. But yes, uh, so if you want a friend, I'll, uh, see what, I'll see what she says about it. Probably ah. depends on the type of bat, but... I want one with rabies. No, you don't. I can sick it on people, okay? It's a good attack rat. <laughs> attack rat? A attack bat. Sorry. Sorry, I got confused. I need one that's vicious. Okay, like a guard dog, but it's a guard bat. Oh, good, we have a rabies researcher in chat. Yes! In that case, I don't need the rabies beforehand. I can just go ahead and get some after. I don't even know where to start to respond to that. Hey, if it bites me, I become immune. That's not how rabies works. Oh, I can no, I'll go get a vaccine. It's fine after it bites me. I'm, I'm not dumb. And, you know, insurance will cover it. I've got the whole thing planned out, okay? All right. Bats aren't attackers. My bat will be. After years of training, my bat has become the perfect assassin. It even makes that sound. Sometimes I really worry about you, bro. Well... Maybe. I think it might be the rabies. <laughs> I don't have rabies yet! No, but you're gonna get it after. Well, yeah. Which is better, bat rabies or rat babies? I think... Hmm. I don't know, if you're trying to attack somebody, I think either one could work. If you throw bat rabies at them, they won't be very happy. But if you throw a bunch of rat babies, I imagine they'd be pretty upset about that too. Chaos is on to the cloud level! The cloud level is definitely a little bit of a wall, it is not easy. Tetsuya taking full use of the balloon that obviously existed back in the mid-1800s. I'm glad that Tom was able to dream up balloons. That way they could actually be invented. Maybe that's how it happened. Oh my gosh, I'm putting all the pieces together, everybody. We're figuring this out. So it came to him in a dream, and then he forgot it in another dream? Did he forget it? I... Uh, I mean, Homsar didn't is not the inventor of the balloon, so I would assume, uh, yes. Do you know who it is? Forgotten it. No, I have no idea. Well, in that case, it could have been Tom Sawyer. Okay. And hot air balloons already existed by the late 1800s. Well... Look, Huck Finn was, like, I think the 1860s is what it was supposed to be, something around there. First, uh, rubber balloons were by, uh, Michael Faraday, so that says a bunch, actually. I have no idea who that is. I imagine he, he was in the 1500s painting... 1800s. Oh, okay. You've never heard of a Faraday cage? No? What are they? Um... Meekins is on to the boss, by the way. So, this... Faraday Cage... Sorry. Continue. Oh, Go this... Meekins. Yeah, this is exciting. We might get everybody onto the same level at the same time.
Come on, Meekins, don't get beaten by the bat. Oh, what? Rubber balloons were invented in 1824? What? Yeah. Oh my gosh, so they actually... I don't know if they widely existed. But the rubber balloon was invented in 1824. So it would have existed by this point. He invented them for use in the lab. That kind of makes sense, you know? It, it's a convenient way to store gas. True. Especially since they didn't have, like, I'm trying to think, air tanks or... I don't know. They didn't have other gas-related stuff, so balloons would definitely help when you're a scientist. Well, uh, Michael Faraday was more, uh, was really interested in electric fields and that sort of thing. And so, um, be having something that can insulate like a balloon would be really useful. Yeah, if he were interested in electric fields, a rubber balloon is very practical. Oh my gosh. When did they start putting helium in them and giving them to kids? Probably right away, they're like, wow. Hey, you... Yeah, I... Yeah, Justin's right. If it's still developed for a lab use, it's going straight in a child's mouth, okay? There's nothing you can do about it. Oh my gosh, I want different music, wizard! Like, I can't this, help you there! This music's okay, but it's... Just starting to grade on me. I want, like, an actual jamming tune in this game. Can somebody help me? Uh, I have no idea last... why Cloud Stage is so hard, but everybody's dying. Well, it is Cloud Stage. Okay, that's true. I'll, I'll go ask some of the people at OC Remix and see if they can uh, give you some hot jams for uh, Adventures of Tom Sawyer. Ooh, they probably have some of those. Okay. Meekins just needs to be a little bit careful and deal enough damage to kill the boss, and I think it's down. Everybody on the cloud stage. Wow. Not for very... That was a pretty fast death. These drips are hard to hit, because they're only one, like, essentially, sp sprite tall. Tom Sawyer is two sprites tall. And your bullets just kind of arc over everything, and it makes this total butts. Yeah, even this music is not great. It's okay. Ugh! Not those notes. Those notes, not okay. By the way... Uh, I'm glad that the cloud- or the houses have halos. They're very good houses. Oh, beacons! The cloud just showed up and was like, LIGHTNING TIME! <laughs> Julo is onto this clown. Sky Clown. And Sky Clown wins. Yeah, I'm not telling you... I am not telling you what the bosses of this stage. If you read the manual, you know, if you don't, if you haven't read the manual, then keep it a surprise and don't spoil it for other people here. Oh my gosh. You bet it's Mario? Oh no. Mario in the clouds. Yeah, What? what is this? Sort of clown monster. Clown monster, maybe that's not a good thing to 
called him. The, the, the clown thing that comes and murders you partway through the stage because he is rude. Absolutely a jerk. That looks like a, uh, Thunder God, uh, Raijin. I mean, yeah, if anybody's gonna kill Tom Sawyer, it might take a deity. Oh! Tetsuya got lightninged. Meekins so, is making some pretty good progress, by the way. Go, Meekins! So what we're saying is, uh, Tom Sawyer for Smite. Yeah! I think that would be good. By the way, I like to think that... Mark Twain would be absolutely enthralled with this game. Like, yeah, he might be like, wow, uh, this has nothing to do with my story, but I have to think that he would have the type of sense of humor to be like, this is exactly what I imagined when I was writing this story, you know, dragons, Tom jumping around, uh, being attacked by Raijin, of all things, you know? I feel like he, he would get a kick out of this. It. Yeah, I think he would. But really, it does not make any sense at all to... Like, have any of the stuff happening in this game that does... Oh, Tetsuya into a very small pit! Unfortunately, he has awoken from his slumber. Hey, Chaos is using a balloon in order to make progress here. Julo is just floating in a cloud. Is it boss time for Julo? I think it is. What I could it, it be? Is. It's a Zeppelin! Come on, Tom Sawyer, kill the Zeppelin! Oh boy, okay, the bullets are... Oh, unfortunately, lasers did Julo in there. A Zeppelin. Yeah. Oh, hi, hi, Zeppelin. Not I'm... you. Actually, according to the manual, it's the Chaplin. The, the ultimate Chep... enemy of this scene is this giant airship. Be very careful. Chaplin has weapons located in every corner of the ship. Okay. I just love that there's a Zeppelin and lasers and bullets, and it's so good! Uh, I'm at a loss for words. Yeah, when you have a, a round ship as well, and say that there are weapons in every corner, you don't have to worry too much. I question who wrote the uh, description, but sure. Oh my gosh, I honestly have no idea who did anything with this game. You know what? We've got ten minutes left. It's perfect time to do a little bit of research on the adventures of Tom Sawyer. I know, I'm just slowly typing it out. Okay. Has anyone else seen Raijin? Uh, I know Meekins got to Raijin. And I believe a few everyone got to Raijin. I think maybe all of them did, yeah. So, <laughs> the company that made this is also known as Winkysoft. Winkysoft made other classical, classic games as Formula One Built to Win. They made a Puyo Puyo game. Uh, they made a Transformers 2003 video game. They made a lot of stuff that was never translated, as far as I can see. And Super Robot Wars. Oh, they made, uh, Dr. Latrek and the Forgotten Knights for the 3DS. That was a pretty clever game. Okay, and Mike is saying that Guardians is actually pretty good. Interesting. This was, you know, published by SETA, S-E-T-A. Uh, and they didn't really publish too much, but they did publish Castle of Dragon, which we've had on Cusa Grande. And also, The Wizard of Oz, Super Nintendo. So, I, we can laugh at the publisher more than the developer, I think. Oh my gosh. Wizard of Oz is so bad. Yes, yes it is. Like... 
Oh my gosh. Okay, I never want to remember all of that information again. Because, you know, the music for this game is inoffensive at worst and kind of okay at best. But, oh my gosh. Wizard of Oz. Never touch that. It's, it's evil. Pure evil. Ah, uh, we've got eight minutes left, everybody. We are almost done with this match, and then we will have one more match after that. What could it be? Who could be choosing? The world may never know. Well, I pity the poor soul who has to go and, uh, follow up this game. <laughs> I... I don't know. Like, this game obviously is not good, but... At the same time, I usually try to choose something that I would enjoy playing. And I, I genuinely enjoy this in some ways, you know? It's not good, but it's fun. With that said, I have no idea if anybody is going to yell at me when the match is done. It very well could happen. It's just that this stage is so incredibly difficult. Uh, we had one person make it to the blimp so far, but nobody's past that. Honestly, I think Cloud Stage is just terrible. It's so bad. Also, I like the sky volcanoes. Of course there are volcanoes in the sky. You know, um. who sees a sky level and thinks, oh, you know, we don't need... We um, don't need volcanoes. I mean, if there's a wheel in the sky, I figure volcanoes are totally valid. I mean, that's fair enough. Meekins is in a safe place. Not a... Yeah, and it looks like time really doesn't matter too much in this, so very nice to find a safe spot. Except, I know that games are dumb. Maybe there's a timeout with the timer counting up. I believe Meekins is the second to see the, uh, Chaplin. Which is a huge jump in place. Meekins oh yeah, Meekins was in fourth. Moving up to second, possibly first here. Yeah, this is huge. Just so everybody knows, this game is not very long, but you don't want to get shot by lasers. Meekin's gonna be trying this stage again. How evil is this? This is so evil. Oh, there we go, Meekin's. Back to the boss. So, Meekin's is definitely in first. Wow, that's exciting to have somebody go from fourth to first. Like, in the I, last five minutes. Yeah, I did not expect that, but here we go. Let's see what Meekins is able to do. Get shot with a laser. Not a huge surprise, you know. It's not exactly... Well, Tom Sawyer didn't know how to deal with lasers back then, you know? They didn't even exist. So, if you're dreaming of a giant death laser, you're not gonna dodge it, you're probably just gonna evaporate. And back to the beginning of the level again. Oh boy. Chaos is taking a lot of deaths. By the way, yeah, I do want to say Tetsuya had been in the lead for a long time, but is now in third. Hey, and Julo does have the safe spot, meaning that they may be able to get Cop back up to where Meekins went in the blimp. And we've got another blimp fight with Julo. Alright, let's see if Julo can uh, get further on the Chaplin. Time for the Chaplin! Mm. 
Okay, pass turret number one. Jolo could definitely take the lead here. Nope. Let's see how many lives uh -oh. Jolo has, and that is a game over. I think this is everyone's last attempt right now. Right now, uh, I, I don't think so. It, they can get through the entire level in maybe a minute, so... It's not a very long level. It really isn't. Chaos apparently made it to the... The... Regine... Horizon. Yeah, that one. And they've all made it to the Raijin, it's just... Can you beat the Raijin? Meekins and Julo have done so, but... It's still amazing that Meekins was so far behind and made so much progress. Wow, Chaos that. just decides to tank it! You know, risking death, but destroying it, and Chaos may actually pass Tetsuya right here! Holy crap. Yes. This is shocking to me, this turn of events. So let's see where Chaos is gonna go with this. Here's the deal, Tetsuya took first. In the last competition, I believe all of them took first. So now Tetsuya appears to be in fourth. Meekins, who was in fourth, is now in first. But Chaos who was in fourth for quite a while just now, may be moving on to first as well. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's the Chaplin. This Almost match, there. it has just been places up for grabs. And that's a play switch. Yeah, Chaos. Chaos is now in first. From fourth to first. And now, is Chaos going to be able to kill the Chaplin? Last little engine on the Chaplin is down. I think that might be it. Yeah, Chaos has beaten the Chaplin. Holy cow! Constant this place is switching. nuts! We have uh, a little more than one minute left. And uh, Chaos has taken the lead. Julo could move back into second. I don't think first is touchable at this point. Chaos has it. But let's see what Julo and Meekins and Tetsuya can do. If Tetsuya even made it to the Chaplin, uh, he'd have a chance. Oh, unfortunately, right. that's another death. Julo getting another chance at the Chaplin. Okay, Julo is at the Chaplin. There might be enough time, but Julo just has to not die. If so, Julo will pass Meekins and move on to... No! No, Meekins! is holding on to the second place there because of the death that Julo had. Julo third, and Tetsuya coming in fourth. We have 15 seconds left. Not over yet. Julo gets one more shot at the, the Chaplin. It's 10 seconds. It's oh, not no, it's enough. A, it's an auto-scroller. There's no way to do it. There's just no way to do no it. No way to do it. And you know what? That, as a matter of fact, is time... You know what, if if Julo can get a little bit into this, we can always go back and check to see exactly when they started. It might warrant a second check. So, just so everybody knows, Chaos was in fourth place for a good chunk of the last five or ten minutes, but right towards the end moved into first. Oh, apparently I stopped the timer too early. Dang it! Meekins manages to take second, Julo third. We're gonna go and review those two just to make 100% sure, I think. I, I feel like that would be warranted. And Tetsuya takes fourth. Absolutely amazing match, RBW. So much. Uh, it, it just... The uh, Cloud World really just changed everything. Like, they were having trouble with the rafts and the rapids and the trees and the grape ape, and then clouds changed everything yeah those clouds like the cloud level is definitely the equalizer and i see chaos coming and joining us hello hello oh my gosh chaos so you were in third for a long time moved into fourth at one point but then right at the end moved from fourth into first this was just an incredible <laughs> match to watch. Fantastic job here. Okay, then. <laughs> <laughs>
you took the last five minutes and decided to make the match your own. Works for me! <laughs> yeah, honestly, uh, you know, this was a nail-biter in many ways, and you just managed to somehow get back into a pretty solid lead. So, uh, yeah, what are your thoughts about the game? You know, it wouldn't be half as bad if it wasn't a one-hit kill. Yeah, the one-hit kill. I knew that, like, I, I've played this game a little bit, and the one-hit kill is just notorious and makes this game much more difficult than it ever should have been. Yeah, no, I mean... A two or three hit kill and uh, you know health restoration power up and it's a great game. The one hit kill is just like why? I think that's probably uh, because the game it's not too long. Honestly, you know you were. Yeah. Let, let me check to see how far you were. That's that's um, the last level according to the manual. Yep, last level according to the manual. I think that's why they had the huge difficulty there just to get there, give you a, uh, a, yeah, yeah, J just to try give and you make your sure money's worth, on a, just to make sure that you, uh, try and make sure you can't beat it on a two-day rental, exactly, or rental difficulty, yeah, rental difficulty, still, even with the two-day rental difficulty there, uh, you got through it, were there any, redeemable qualities do you think to the game anything that you particularly liked uh, I mean once you're in the game the music isn't terrible for Ness okay and I mean the great bait cameo is amusing I, I mean it's not great faith but it is great bait <laughs> <laughs> nothing Wait. actually related to the gameplay <laughs> uh yeah and let's just say that there's like, I don't know. I'm pretty sure there weren't Zeppelins back. I'm sorry, Chaplins, uh, back during Huckleberry Finn's times. But it was all a dream. He was just very. Uh, I mean, I, I I'm not sure what Japanese deities are doing in his dreams either. So. Yeah, good question. Tom has very <laughs> wild dreams. What was that? Tom has very wild dreams. Uh, speaking of dreams. Japanese deities, Japanese deities that aren't mentioned in the manual. Yeah, why isn't it mentioned anywhere? It's the only enemy that's not in the <laughs> manual! Oh, chaos. Yeah, we, we noticed that and we're like, what the crap? What's up with this? Oh, well, congratulations. Anything you want to say before we send you on your way, chaos? Not really. I mean, y you actually gave me a bad game for once. It's a good... It, it's a bad game. It is a bad game. Yeah, wait, what did you get before? Uh... Uh... DOS game. Uh, the yogurt game. The yogurt game! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The yogurt stupid... game that's only bad because it's bizarre! <laughs> because it's yogurt. <laughs> I... Jeff, it's all your fault. We have too many yogurt video games in this world, and it's all your fault, Jeff. <laughs> Uh, well, Chaos, thank you so much. Wizard, I really appreciate you coming and joining, and feel free to go ahead and take off as we reveal the next GM. Alrighty. Take care.